Should I start my speech? <laughs> okay. Now, this is not a speech about free software. This is a speech about a follow-on question people used to ask at the end of my speeches about free software. Do these ideas apply to anything else? But as an introduction, I better say something to explain what free software is all about. Free software means software that respects the user's freedom. It does not mean zero price software. It's not an issue of price at all. It's about how the developer treats the users. So I say, think of free speech, not free beer. In Polish, it's clearer. You can say volny, and people will know you don't mean zero price software. They might get confused in another way, but it's not such a dangerous confusion. <laughs> <clears throat> Non-free software, proprietary software, keeps the users divided and helpless. Divided because they are forbidden to share, and helpless because they don't have the source code. So they can't change the program. They can't even study what it's really doing. But free software respects the user's freedom and respects the social solidarity of the user's community. What does this mean? It's very easy to say, I'm in favor of freedom, but that doesn't, that's so vague in general, it's not much of a statement. Even Bush says he's in favor of freedom. And Bush... <laughs> Bush doesn't recognize freedom even after he's crushed it. <laughs> So I had better say something more specific. Free software means the user has four essential freedoms. Freedom, so if you have these freedoms, the program is free software at least for you. Freedom zero is the freedom to run the program as you wish. Freedom one is the freedom to study the source code and then change it to make the program do what you wish. Freedom two is the freedom to help your neighbor. That's the freedom to make exact copies and distribute them to others when you wish. And freedom three is the freedom to contribute to your community, which is the freedom to distribute copies of your modified versions, if you have made any, when you wish. So if you have these four freedoms, the social system of the so programs distribution and use is an ethical system, one that respects freedom and social solidarity, and so we call this free software. But if one of these freedoms is missing or is insufficient, then the social system of the program's distribution and use is an unjust system, and that's what makes it proprietary software. So the distinction between free and proprietary software is not a technical question at all. It's an ethical and social question. Whether the developers have taken away the user's freedom. <clears throat> because a non-free program gives the developer unjust power over the users, its existence is a social problem. So the goal of the free software movement is to put an end to this problem, to eliminate proprietary software. And what we seek to do is to teach people to recognize how a proprietary program is an attack on your freedom so that you will know better than to tolerate it in your computer, so that you will re re reject it, so that you will insist on your freedom and defend your freedom and 